everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is KSR in America. Today's video is about the day we spent on the island next to Ganghua, Sokmo. The name of the cafe was Moment of Moments, which was very fitting to the atmosphere. We were greeted by the wide ocean the moment we entered the cafe. I wanted to have both the cake and the bread, but I stopped myself since we haven't eaten dinner yet. The cafe was pretty cozy as there were only a few tables inside, but that also allowed you to enjoy the scenery wherever you chose to sit. But I mean, it's always the best to sit on the window side, right? There were a few tables outside which I thought would become crowded as it got warmer. It was, anyways, it was so gorgeous I couldn't look out the ocean till sunset. The water sparkling by the sunlight looked so pretty. I bet it would have been even prettier if we came around sunset. Finally, the ciabatta bread and the mango smoothie we ordered has arrived. I ordered it as it was popular in Korea back then but it wasn't really my type. But I loved how sweet the mango smoothie was. I finished it in no time while chatting with my parents. I felt like we could easily lose track of time and actually stay until sunset but that would be rude so we decided to head to a restaurant before it was too late. Today we came to a cafe before a restaurant. I looked around the back of the cafe before leaving and they had some pretty drawings. I have no idea why they haven't hung them. Maybe that's part of their style? I didn't realize this place was vegan lactose free cafe until now, but it wasn't like the menu options were limited, so I would love to come back here again. I wanted to have some Korean hand chopped noodles, so I looked up a place that sold them, but it seemed like this place was more specializing in fried shrimp. It was a little earlier than meal time, so I could take video of the inside with no customers in it. While we were waiting for our order, I found this writing on the wall. The writer prefers some seafood and soju over gaining the whole world and any fortune. Sounds like a true alcoholic. You can't really see it, but we could watch them fry the stuff as we were seated next to the kitchen. And I didn't really have any expectations, but wow, this seems like something that you would see at a fancy Japanese restaurant. You can tell why they say they specialize in this, right? It was really good. And the hand chopped noodles with clams is not something special but something that I miss from time to time while living abroad. There was a seafood market in front of the restaurant so we decided to look inside. It seemed like the stores were named after their boats. It was odd to see how most of the products didn't have a label on them and the amount of dry shrimp they were selling was insane. It was like you can only buy it if you know what you are looking for. I don't know anything about fish, so everything looks so similar. Outside of the market, they were drawing fish eggs and some fish that looked like rockfish. It may look a bit weird, but I felt like this was part of it being a true Korean market, so I didn't edit this out. I didn't know this till I came here, but this town is famous for salted shrimp. That explains why there were shrimps everywhere. It was hilarious how their mascot was a shrimp with a superman coat on. time comes, this mud flat gets filled with water, and boats go catch the seafood that they sell in the market we just went to. I couldn't go in since it was a falling hazard. There's something anywhere touristy in Korea has a photo zone, but now without an E. You don't see it in the video, but I took some photos with my mom here. On a separate day, we visited a cafe that was under the name of someone who was certified as Master of Big Game Korea. It seemed like this place was famous for their onion bread, but I couldn't try one, so we decided to skip it. My husband and I prefer Korean bakeries over American ones as they come out with new items continuously, like the salted bread shown in the video right now. My husband loves trying interesting combinations that he would have bought one of the onion bread too. Walnut with cream cheese? You can't really go wrong with that. The item named Baby Honeybee was sold out maybe because it was too cute, but they restocked it later so I got one. After these cakes, we were done looking around. We came to this place a few times, but as it was pretty famous, it was always so crowded. But thanks to my parents, we grabbed a seat with a nice view. It was nice to enjoy. 
It was great to enjoy the bread with such a scenery. I would have captured the water coming in if we came a bit later. Oh well. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.